Hi, we're heading uh, to Bozeman. Uh, Donna Evans, a uh, lady and her two sons who helped me uh, move back in uh, oh, March and uh, April, uh, traded uh, their services for a uh, small bronze, and uh, we're going to be coloring it today. It's uh, the Viking. So, uh, just heading to Bozeman, it's uh, smoky because we have so many fires around us here. I mean, if it ain't a hurricane, it's fires. It's, of course, we don't get hurricanes here. Uh, I lived through a couple of typhoons back in the 50s when I was on Guam when I was a kid. And uh, I tell you, they, they uh, make a sound that you cannot believe. Typhoon is... is uh, uh, I'll, it's what they call it out in the ocean. Uh, it's actually a hurricane, but it's just called a typhoon there. All right, uh, I'm going to quit babbling and put my camera down. There's the Viking. That's the actual color of bronze before they uh, put color on it. It's sandblasted and... Uh, ready to go as soon as uh, she gets done with the bronze that she's working on in there. Get across without getting hit by FedEx. Yeah. That's where they're uh, melting the bronze. soon before you pour. I'm gonna temp the metal. Uh, so probably five, six minutes after that. Five minutes? Yeah, five, six minutes. What's the temperature? No, don't take your mask off. About 1900 degrees. 1900, so it's not quite up to temp. So it should be, I like to pour about 2000. Yeah. Yeah. Adriana is uh, putting potash solution on the uh, bronze. It's a, it's a cold uh, solution, and it turns the bronze black. And then what she'll do is rub back those areas we want rubbed back. I think we're going to rub back on the face. Uh, maybe the fur, just highlight it. And on the... Uh, helmet, maybe just the crossbars, and uh, that would be it. We'll just leave the helmet itself black. We'll see how that looks. <laughs> All right, we're going to go over and watch them uh, pour, so uh, we'll be right back. I just want to let you know where we're going to... All right, they're just getting ready to uh, pour, and what they'll do is they'll take the... Uh, mold out of the oven. The molds are heated up to about the temperature of the bronze so that the uh, bronze won't uh, act like butter on a cold plate. It is hot. Oh man, that's, 
That'll warm you up on a cold night. <laughs> yeah, it's nice in the winter. Some of these molds are going to be uh, set up on the ground with asbestos underneath them. do with that one? You gotta put a little Saracen on it. Yeah. Oh, you got a crack? They put cardboard underneath the uh, crucible to uh, burn off oxygen. I think. Yeah, and it builds up uh, carbon as well. It's the same. Yeah. Same idea. Now you gotta lean all the way up. There you go. Oh, it smells like hot dogs. mold turns red when he pours it in. Yeah. And then when it gets done, it, it quits pissing out. So. Let's call that good. Let's pop off these two little cups here. Don't want no spillover. <laughs> Run out of bronze? Oh no, I got plenty. I got a whole nother layer underneath that. They're putting bronze ingots in the, the crucible. Just a short insert here to let you know that I do have an instructional DVD on the creation of this bust of a Viking. Um, down below is a link to a review of that and the other eight instructional DVDs that I have available at this time. Uh, it's uh, something that uh, is kind of fun to watch and to see how it was created. All right, let's get coloring. I think that looks good. What did you say? I didn't hear you. Sorry. Do you want to do black eyebrows once we get there as well? I think we're fine with the way they are. Okay. So are you ready to fair for... Go hit it. Alright. I'm going to get over here. This is going to be loud.
actually taking a laser and checking the uh, temperature of the surface of the bronze. Certainly takes the guesswork out of it. Now she's just spraying some acid on the uh, bronze. Is that ferric? Ferric will turn it brown. I love the color of that helmet. Now let's darken the eyebrows. I wanted to see what it's going to look like. Yeah, well, I wanted that uh, too, yeah. Maybe we could put a little red in that fur, sort of like it's a fox or something like yeah, that. Yeah. That would that would frame the face in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do think about things like that. Yeah, that's true. Pardon my unsteady camera. I'm holding it in my hand. doing right now is putting a paste wax on the uh, bronze and it, she's heated up the surface so that it melts and uh, it goes on like a liquid. And this seals it so that, uh, well, for four, 50 to 100 years, uh, it'll keep it sealed and then eventually the atmosphere around will turn the the atmosphere around would eventually turn the bronze green, is what I was saying. Uh, I cut off the sound because there was a little bit of music playing in the background. Uh, I couldn't control that, so the YouTube was telling me I couldn't monetize my video because of that. No, you know, even though the uh, music was so low, you could barely understand it, and there was so not much foundry music or sound going on behind that uh, you couldn't tell what the hell it was, but YouTube hit me with it within hours. Um, I'm basically talking about working on the uh, clay of the uh, 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 approaching storm. Uh, they're they're going to make a mold of it tomorrow. I worked on this hand, uh, improving the fingers and stuff like that, um, and uh, making it look more like a hand. Uh, I worked on the uh, warrior's face. I cleaned it up, uh, smoothed it off a little bit, uh, worked on the uh, hand underneath the uh, jaw of this horse. Actually,
by the time I get this hand done, I should be able to finish off that uh, Oh, the other hand. All right, I've fixed a few things. Uh, I adjusted the uh, chin and the mouth on that horse just now because I s saw that it was just a little short. Once I took the ropes off, it showed me things that I didn't see before I took the ropes off. Anyway, it is ready to go, and I am out of here. See you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.